Hello and welcome to 3482 Old Lantern Court, Miamisburg, Ohio. We're out in the street right now walking up to the front of this home. First thing I noticed when I saw this home is great curb appeal. Good use of natural earth tone colors here. Other than that, this is an updated 30 year dimensional shingle roof. Most of these were built with 20 year dimensional shingle on here. So newer construction house, this was built in 2000, already has a new roof. Spoiler alert, it also has an updated furnace, updated air conditioner, and updated windows as well, as well as an updated water heater. So mechanically, this house is pimped and squared away, as the kids say. Walking up to the front here, we have a nice entry. It is covered with two side lights going to the front door. Very welcoming and inviting. Let's go inside and take a look. All right, so here we just walk through the front door. We have a nice entry right here, and you can go one of really four directions uh, once you come through the front door. We're gonna go to the right, which we have our living room. Is what I'm calling the living room. You might have this as an office, sitting room, put the baby grand piano in here, whatever you want to use it for, but I'm calling it the living room. We can also go up the stairs to see the second floor. We have a nice landing up there as well. We can go straight through here, which takes us to the breakfast room, kitchen, family room, back door, or we can go to the left. It takes us to the dining room. This is a coat closet right here. Good size dining room here. Very nice light fixture. And it's kind of a circular floor plan. So we can move through the dining room to go into the kitchen. Now immediately to our left, once we come in here, this is the garage. So if you're parking in the garage, you're carrying groceries in, boom, right through the door. Right here is our Samsung refrigerator where you can put everything in. Now all of the cabinets do stay. <laughs> yes, the cabinets stay. Sorry, I was doing two things at once. All of the appliances in the kitchen stay. And where I got distracted with, I wasn't sure what that was. I opened it up while we were talking and it's a pantry. So kitchen sink overlooks the backyard. Check that out here in a minute. I know when my wife and I were looking at houses, that was a really big deal for her. But the dishwasher, microwave, range, and refrigerator, range hood, all stay. Very nice spacious kitchen with a little island here. This is where our washer and dryer is. So you could have it in the basement. This is on the first floor, so you don't have to go down two flights of stairs. But you could also have it in the basement if you so chose to. We also have some storage in there as well. Breakfast room, and the light coming in is kind of messing with our exposure here. There we go, this is what it really looks like in person. This is the family room that we're looking at right now. This door takes us down to the basement, and there's the entry where we just came from. You know, while we're here, we have a sliding back door. Let's go ahead and take a look at the backyard since we're out here. We have, as you can see, the owners have extended the patio on this. Hot tub, I'm sure that is negotiable, as is a lot of other things in the home are negotiable. If you're interested, just ask. Yard is partially fenced. We do have the storage shed here. Storage shed slash playhouse, like it is at my house. The kids have taken it over. Uh, we're not really storing anything other than them just playing there. But a very nice backyard. Grass is in great shape. For the most part, it's flat. Looks like there is a drain over here. So great backyard. Leaves are just starting to change. Beautiful, beautiful backyard. Okay, next. Let's go check out the second floor. We have four good sized bedrooms up there. And you have to see the size of the owner's suite on this. Next, I'll meet you upstairs. All right, so here we just came up the stairs and we have a nice grand two story foyer entry here. You could hang a really nice chandelier right there if you wanted to. You can see all the way down. It's the half bathroom right there, front door. Got our living room and then dining room over here. And this opens up into a nice area. One thing I like about this is, just to give you an idea, we kind of have like a hallway and entry here to where you don't just come up and go directly into the bedrooms, which is one thing I like. 
Bedroom number one, this is on the front left of the home. And this is a good sized room. We have an overhead ceiling fan in here with a remote control. There we go, our light got a little crazy on us here. We have a uh, double sliding closet over here. Now all of the windows, this house is only built in 2000. All the windows have been replaced on this house. Now the furnace, water heater, air conditioner, those have all been upgraded as well. So mechanically, this house was new, er, and it's basically new mechanically here. Guest bathroom here, shower tub. Then bedroom number two, and I might have these bedroom sizes different online. I'm just calling them the bedrooms numbered as we see them. Overhead ceiling fan in this room as well. It's on the back left of the home. Double sliding closet here. Now all the carpet up here is original. The owner is offering a $3,000 carpet allowance. Really, it's not in bad shape. It's just getting to that point where you might think about replacing it. So if you don't want the allowance, maybe just ask for them to come down more in price. But you can kind of see here we're starting to you know, have a little wrinkle to it. And that could be restretched. But the owner acknowledges that you know, the carpet up here is getting a little to the end of its life here. Now we have a massive owner suite here. Vaulted ceilings, plant shelf over here, two walk-in closets. And this is a huge room. Look at this. That's a king-size bed right there. And we have room for a desk and room to spare in here. The owner suite here will run from the full length of the front of the house all the way to the back of the house. His and her walk-in closets. We have one walk-in closet here and another walk-in closet over here. And this is a big room and it feels even bigger with these vaulted ceilings here. Plant shelf, you know, during the seasons or the holidays can change up your feel up there. And then the owner's suite bathroom here, room to put a double vanity if you wanted to, and a huge mirror here with makeup light bar. Shower tub here, this is all one piece and plenty of room for our commode here as well. And again, all of these windows on the second floor are just a few years old. Okay, now that we've seen the second floor, let's go check out the basement. I'll meet you downstairs. All right, so here we just came down to the basement. I have a big surprise for you down here that is a big deal to me, and I think it might be a big deal to some of you that are watching this as well. So the basement is, we're calling it semi-finished. What we're looking at now is obviously unfinished. We have our panel box over here, little workshop area over here, ping pong table, pool table, perfect spot for it. This could actually be, <coughs> excuse me, Finished off and made very, very cool down here with a bar and uh, you might have seen my surprise. I'm going to try to hold it off till last to build the anticipation. More storage over here and here's where we talked about. We have a, a newer furnace and check this out. Hopefully our light is good enough here to see. But this is a train furnace. It's high efficient, 95% efficient furnace here super duper nice. Now, the thing that I was saying was a really big deal, we're walking into it now saying, why is that couch elevated right there? You might be asking, because this is a theater room. Projection TV with the screen, this all stays. I'm gonna walk around here to give you a better look at this. This is something that really caught me. We have the fabric here, it's kind of black it out, blacked out on the ceiling. We do have a light, but obviously, you can turn off the light, turn off the other lights, and this is like your own movie theater back here. Elevated couch, talk about a get together place. Put a rec room down here. My mind is just wander wandering. This is really, really nice. Projector, all of the fabric's gonna stay, the screen's gonna stay. The surround sound equipment, we have some beefy speakers. And you may not be able to see of them, see all of them. These aren't your typical small speakers. This is a nice setup. Now, if you have any questions, talk to your agent, schedule a showing to see this in person because this is a very cool home. Newer construction, but everything has been updated. Roof, mechanicals, uh, your furnace, your air conditioner, and it's not cheap stuff. High efficient, 95% eh, efficient train furnace. 
that's hard to say in a straight sentence. Guys, this home is fabulous. Owners even offering a carpet allowance. Give me a call. I look forward to talking to you.